Good morning, guys. Um, sorry for disappearing like that. Uh, life is a little chaotic right now. Um, and everything isn't all set in stone and everything, so I can't really talk about it. Just know that my life is chaotic, chaotic right now. Uh, but... I thought that I would start vlogging because it's a couple of days before Christmas and I have taken some time off. So why not vlog when I'm not working? Because that's also a thing. Um, working full time is hard. It's hard vlogging when you work full time because basically I have just a couple of hours of awake time at home. Um, it makes it a little bit harder. But I'm off today so I thought hey, why not vlog and talk to you guys? So, um, migraine, still messing with me, F-I-Y, um, but uh, I, I try to kind of just work through it and, and push through it. I still have days when I can't do that, but um, it's getting better, getting a lot better. Um, the plan for today is card making. I have a card that is supposed to go up the 23rd, um, a card video and everything. So the plan is to get that done. So I have fixed my nails. Uh, they're not made today. <laughs> I think I did them yesterday or the day before that. Um, they are red and golden. And it's um, SC polish, so I thought I would tell you what it is, but I just realized I don't have them there. Are they? Here they are. Here they are. I have a couple of boxes. So, this is, um, I have one of those Alex drawer thingies, huge thing. Uh, I also have a shorter one there. This is more for like computer stuff, maybe a little bit of paper. And um, a lot of crystal stuff is in there, but this is mainly mine. And these two uh, top ones are just papers. Uh, this is mostly store papers, and this is basically just every bill and everything. And I have to take care of that. But I have made rearrangements for my um, ink pads. These are my kind of dye ink pads. Um, that I don't use that often and then I have my uh, dyeing pads, my distressing pads here together with, yeah, I got everything. But we were talking about nail polishes and that's why I'm doing this. Um, I have a whole bunch. On, in, up in this drawer I have mostly OPIs, uh, so it's my kind of my OPI collection. I have to color that brown one though. That is a gorgeous color. Um, and also I have kind of my base layers. Sorry about the whining. And then I have this very messy kind of random stuff drawer. And in this I have my essay polishes. So this is how it looks right now. I've changed things up. I'm going to change it up even more. But right now uh, on me I have this red which is called List. And on top of that... Um, is this golden called uh, Glow Your Own Way. And a big tip, applying gold uh, glitter in any form shape, dab it on. I've dabbed it on, and it actually ends up being pretty, pretty, if my camera will, will focus, pretty good glittery. Yeah. I am, uh, I actually went up at like 10 to 6 this morning even though I'm off because I want to get productive it's just a couple of days of Christmas um, I have a few things I want to do so uh, I went up early I've been kind of looking at internet and then I did a little bit of gaming because my back uh, is on the verge of going out um, it hurt a lot so I thought I would go in the sofa a little while so I did a little bit of gaming and now I'm back having breakfast should have had that ages ago because I'm starving. Um, and that was kind of what prompted me to start vlogging. I am having quark. Um, I have a fascination for quark or I like quark. Um, both my siblings like eat it because it's part of their diet, but they really don't like it. Well, 
I love it. And I can eat it like natural. Um, I don't like the low fat ones. So this, I think this is 2%. So it's totally okay. And with it, I actually went overboard today. I usually don't have this much, but I have some marmalade. Um, I have the Robertson's marmalade. I think it's a British one. And this is um, like silver sliver or something like that. It's a lemon zest one with just a little bit of lemon zest. It's so good. It gives it kind of this lemony uh, quark one. I've been eating a lot of um, quark that is um, already have tastes in it, like le lemon and vanilla is my favorite ones. However, uh, I started looking at the calories and it's not like I'm eating too much calories, but the amount of sugar that is in that, even the amount of um, marmalade that I had, I hope you saw that, a marmalade I have in this, oh, that blew out, even that amount is uh, just a fraction of the amount of sugar and carbs there is in those ones that already have the taste in them. So I am going back to going for my natural and adding my own sugars, my own lemonade. Um, yeah, not lemonade, what's it called? Jams. Words sometimes just mix. That's just how it is. But yeah, I wanted to say good morning and um, let's vlog for a couple of days. Let's do it. And yeah, uh, if you haven't noticed, I call it my hair pink again. I'm going back, I'm, I'm back, I'm, I'm pink. Um, there's a lot of ha happening in my life right now and when that is happening, I kind of have these staple things that I feel comfortable in that helps me keep sane and help me keep positive. Um, and my pink hair is one of those. I feel most comfortable in my pink hair. So I'm back to pink hair. So yeah, good morning guys. I hope you have an awesome day. I don't know about you, but when things break, when I work and I'm in like this zone and things break, I've been very forcefully pulled out of that zone and I don't know what to do anymore. Um, I had a lot of ideas and the ideas that I was making with this card was kind of hang up with me being able to do a lot of heating bossing. I mean a lot of heating bossing. Uh, and um, my, my embossing tool just broke. Not so happy about that. I'm not sure what has happened. I think uh, I think it actually really broke when the kitties had accidentally hit it in the floor and it started running by its own um, then I just had to push the button and it stopped and I thought no nothing about it but now when I clicked it on I just he heard this thing starting rattling inside of it and it started to smell so burnt and I'm like yeah I don't have a heat tool anymore so I have to get a new one and it's not really in my budget to do so. We'll see. I, I'll figure it out. I need some other supplies for cards. Uh, basically white card stock. So we'll see. Um, I'm going to talk a little bit. Talk it over and we'll figure it out. Um, but it's kind of annoying because I want to get these videos up on Saturday and now they might not, there will be, but it's, n I'm not sure that it is the card that I want to do anymore. So I have to figure that out. And usually the way to figure that out is to kind of walk away from the craft table for a little while. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to drink my coffee and I'm going to walk away. Um, and then we'll see. We'll see if, if it will work out or something. But it's annoying. It's super annoying. So my idea when I talked to you last was that I was going to go and sit down in the sofa with an embroidery and just try to kind of restart. Uh, but I had a video going um, or a post on my screen. So I thought, well, I look at this video and I do stuff. 
do something while I do that because I usually don't just watch watch YouTube. Um, and I kind of realized that I wanted to start thinking like I can't just step away from this. I have to do something. So I decided instead of doing the video that's going up on Saturday, I am going to do the video that's going up on the 29th because that's how I do it. Now, um, I felt I needed to do some coloring um, and the 29th will be a much more color intensive video. So I started looking at some stamps. And the thing is, um, I'm gonna do it with Make It Crafty stamps and I have huge amount of make it crafty stamp however the store is much better indexed than my collection so i'm going to the store i'm looking into which stamp do i want to use i usually pick up pick out like um three to four stamps because um i then print them out and then i choose one or the other and and i do a video with them um because printing when i'm printing i print four images on an a4 sheet so then i kind of can print and then i can do all the videos i want to do uh so i'm going through it by by meaning when they i say that it's better index is that um in a in a database and in any kind of database you can kind of tag things to belong to different categories um I might be able to do that in my like file system. I haven't really figured it out, but I get it for free in her system. So I just go in and then I search for things or use her kind of categories, um, find which stamps I want to do. Then I go into my files, figure out if I have these stamps. <laughs> if I don't, I get them, but yeah. The, I ended up doing that instead. I have two videos coming up uh, with Make It Crafty that I know what I'm gonna do. Um, so I, that those are just yeah, great ideas and, and, and things and I just figured out what I'm gonna do with the first video. I am going to uh, switch focus completely instead of trying to fudge the idea I had to work with the supplies I have maybe not making it as beautiful as I wanted to I'm going to change it and I'm going to make it the way I want it that is so comfortable that is so it just lifted that panic that I had in me it's good talking to you. Thank you for helping me getting ready, getting my ideas straight in my head. Thank you. Yeah. I'm staying positive in all of these chaos. Um, I haven't been talking about this very much and I will not the first couple of weeks here. I need to know a little bit about what is happening before I can talk about it, basically. But... Um, my life is chaos at the moment. Don't worry, Gizmo and Leia is fine. Me and Christopher is fine. Everything will be fine. But right now, um, I have a lot to deal with and it is crazy, but it will solve. The thing is, I say it will solve itself. Um, no, I will solve it. Uh, basically, in Sweden we have, we say, it will solve. Or, it actually, we say it will solve itself. That is why I say that kind of pronoun, that it will solve itself. Um, it will clear out, it will... Um, I don't know the complete words for it in English. However, I don't believe that things just work out. That is how it is. It will work out. Things just don't work out. You make them work out. And I will make this work out. And it will be brilliant in the end. But right now, it's chaos, emotional, and life kind of sucks. So I'm trying to make better of it. 
yeah. But now I'm gonna do some coloring to kind of wind in myself, take it easy, and then we'll see. I'm in the middle of coloring. I needed to go and go grab a cup of coffee. Um, and I did some Instagramming and stuff, which I'm going to talk about in two seconds. Uh, but this is where I'm going with this. I'm really, both really, really enjoying doing this, but also feeling that I'm getting the dimension and the colors that I want to. So I'm feeling really excited about this coloring and we'll see what it will end up doing. Um, but I'm just taking it slow and easy. I'm listening to my audiobook. Uh, I haven't been listening to audiobooks in a little while now. Um, it's, uh, it's a part of me getting um, not feeling so well. So I just haven't been listening to, to audiobooks, which I should do more because it does... It, it is really nice. The book I'm reading is or listening to is called In Incen Diary by In Incendiary. You know, courting fire. I think it basically means or smoking, maybe. And this is the book if you can see it. Um, <clears throat> it's by M. E. A. Bartol, so it's a good book. It's in a series. It's about angels. So if you don't like books about angels, no, nah, but this is good. However, um, <clears throat> when going into Instagram to actually upload a photo of the coloring that I'm doing, um, I found that people had followed me. And some, some are like obvious uh, stores. Um, there are tips on how to be a good Instagrammer. And one of them is to basically, when you are to comment on other people's posts or like or follow and stuff, people you think would have an interest in, in what you are doing so that they see you and therefore maybe follow you. It's, it's like social media 101. However, um, there was a paper store that followed me, an Etsy store, and I'm not going to tell you its name because I went in there and first of all the stamp prices was like a third. Um, they had different companies but let's talk about my my favorite thing stamps because they are I think they're $15.90 so it's $15, $15-16 for a stamp set. They're pretty expensive However, they have super good quality in their stamps and their dies are cutting like butter. And I love them as a company. Um, I buy, when I buy their product, I buy them either from Simon's Stamp or directly from them. It all depends uh, what other supplies I need, basically, because they cost as much, whether I, I buy them. Um, I have more and more starting to buy things from my favorite things. Uh, just because uh, the postage is a little less and I get it through FedEx so they arrive a little bit quicker <clears throat> but anyhow going to my point I have a tendency to blabber on apparently but going to my point I went in there and they have these fairly new stamps up for around six dollars which is not a lot of money um, and just like there you kind of figure yeah this is not a legal stamping because my favorite things is one of those stamp companies that have a huge problem in chinese companies uh who are directly ripping off the stamp sets they're basically taking the images that they find on the website um and then from my favorite things they take them they make them so they can be printed and then they print them as stamps because you there there's a digital thing how you make stamps but basically when it is uh, the gel stamps you just put the digital image in and they will print the stamp yeah i looked into this loads and loads of years ago uh on uh, how much it how much immediate cost it would cost me if I wanted to start producing stamps. 
um, and it's way too much and I'm not good enough to be able to do it but it was a thing I looked into years and years ago <clears throat> but there's different grades and you can they're all clear stamps aren't the same that's just how it is and my favorite things clear stamps are awesome uh, I really love them they always make very good expression and really good stamps and they are made in the US and they have been having a huge issue with being ripped off from China and their legal teams are working very hard to fix this but uh, in the meantime while that is happening there will come more and more of those out on the market and you know me, I'm a fond person about copyright and this is really one of those things where one of my favorite stamps, uh, stamp companies are hurting a lot because people are buying crap stamps that isn't there. Yeah, it's so bad. And then I get really, really sad when, when I get these like I get these follows, which is really, I, I see that the follow is because they want me to see that they have a store. And then I go in and they just have these um, Chinese stamps that are illegal. And basically it's illegal for them to sell them and buy them. Um, there is rules. The problem is that it's not as far as copyright goes, it's not illegal for the Chinese to sell them, but it is illegal for um, any company that's in the Berne Convention, um, basically, or any person that is in the Berne Convention to buy them. So, yeah, big problem. And I, it's so sad. But I sent an email about that to them so they know about the store. Um, so yeah, if you're a store that does that, don't send me follows because I will send that on to the companies. Uh, but now I'm going to continue coloring and I'm going to drink my coffee. I got amaretto uh, like syrup in it. It's so good. Together with my gingerbread spices. Oh, mm. It's all Christmassy. Look! The dress is colored. This is one of those that why I come to a point when I'm like, oh god, can't 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 the ruffles be over soon? It's so much. Um, I do love how it looks, but yeah, it's a lot of work. Uh, I think I put in about an hour and something like that so far, and it's not done. Um, also, it's gonna go a whole bunch of things on top of it. And if you're wondering what's in the background, it's the coffee machine, because I needed a cup of coffee. A uh, third cup of coffee. Uh, <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'm, I'm going, it's going forward, it's slowly going forward. I have to figure out the greens for the frog, because I don't want him to be like bright green, because then he will stand out so much. Um, he's a cute little detail, but just trying to get him a little bit not so bright uh, and also the crown is going to be more gold than yellow so I think I'm just gonna go with the same color she has in the skirt and then add some glitter detail with some gel pens afterwards so those are kind of the things I'm doing right now I just want to go down I'm like I'm, I'm waiting for some mail and I just want to go down and get it but the only problem is it hasn't arrived yet um it's like I usually get mail at two ish not always um are the mail company in Sweden it used to be run by the state and a couple of years ago they kind of um made it private or went went into the private business for it um, and there were several companies that wanted to be the kind of main mail courier and one of them won it probably because they were not so expensive however they are not able to do what they're supposed to do uh, there are 
I, like they're missing millions of letters a year just disappearing um there are laws that says that if you can't deliver a package you have to send it back um they they don't do that they um um actually had to be honest and say that they're gonna be burning letters which is super against the law in sweden so yay to them so there, there's been so much problems with mail so much problems with mail for the past years um and now it seems like they aren't delivering every day either so yeah but we'll see if i get the the mail i'm uh, expecting to get or not but my coffee is done so i'm gonna have my coffee and i am going to finish her you know do the face and the hair um filled in the face with the lightest color that i'm gonna use for the skin and i did that because i wanted to know where her face was basically um i was considering doing that with the whole character like mapping out the character colors the only problem with that is that i will then even if i use the lightest color it will because of the translucence in the inks it when you color on top of it you will get a darker color at the second layer and i didn't want that so i haven't done that uh, instead i'm just miscoloring i needed this i think um, I'm still feeling a little bit stressed over that I need to get a video up on Saturday but I'm trying to kind of just breathe and take it slow and kind of yeah but you have the time to do this so you just do it just have fun just enjoy this um, and it's working and it's helping me like psychologically because I am I'm down and, and stressed and upset it makes me happier it it kind of it feeds my endorphin endorphins in some strange way uh, i don't know why i uh, usually it would be have been with chocolate with but since chronic migraine uh, i can't have chocolate at all because i'm never out of the migraine circle so um chocolate is a known trigger for migraines so if you're a migraine person uh, think about what you have been eating before and see if something of that could trigger it. Um, I do get triggered by wine and chocolate. But I, they usually only trigger when I'm in, when I have like a, a migraine aura from the beginning, when I'm in that circle, uh, they trigger. But as I haven't been out of the circle for the past 10, 12 months, 10 months probably, um, a year about, about a year, I can't have chocolate, which is really, really sad, because chocolate makes everything better. So I'm gonna have some coffee instead. I must say, I have the best sister ever. You know that heat tool that broke the day? I got to borrow hers. So uh, now I will have one until I can get one, got a new one. Um, I've heard a lot of good things about the Hero Art ones, that it is much, have a stronger heat and that is kind of better at doing the uh, embossing, kind of, he, he, because it's more stronger heat, it will uh, melt the powder better and therefore you will get a more even embossing. So I'm considering getting one of those in the future. But until I uh, have all the funds and everything for it, I have borrowed my sister's ones. So that is awesome. So I finished the evening off finishing a project. I'm going to show you that tomorrow because uh, it's getting late. I'm going to head to bed. But I have been playing around with a cross stitch project. Cross stitch beading project. This is my real first super beading project um it is uh, one of those mill hill um little ornaments I have a cute little 
kitty in it so that it can be in our tree and be a kitty. Um, but I'm going to show you more about that tomorrow. Right now I'm going to head to bed. So I just wanted to say good night, sleep tight. Don't let the bug bugs bite.